morning. It's 11.15 a.m. Sunday morning. It's already been a busy morning. Fred's getting ready to um, power wash the driveway. Fred's his nick internet nickname, by the way. His name is Robert, or AKA Bob, um, for those that don't know. Um, anyway, he's getting ready to uh, power wash the, gra the driveway, not the garage, the driveway floor. Um, the garage cabinets are delayed by a week or two, which is okay because we have time to sort through um, his tools and things that we took down and he's sort of reorganizing things and getting rid of some stuff that, again, even with his space that he's looking at going, why did I move this when we moved from California? I, my only My only reasoning is that we just got tired of purging things and we just said, just pack it, it's easier, we'll deal with it later. Those of you who have moved way more than we have probably get that. Um, anyway, he's getting ready to power wash the driveway and um, he's already been to the gym and I've made a loaf, uh, a batch of garlic sourdough. It's proofing on the counter. Um, laundry has been working. I need to switch the loads. Dishes are done. Like it's been a busy Sunday morning already. The kids came by and borrowed my car because they made an Ikea run and I gave them a wish list. Um, I guess Ikea is out of the pegboard like clips. So she just texted me and said, that's okay, add them to your future lists because I want some clips at some point. Um, white ones. So if y'all want to send me happy mail, white Ikea clips. I only need a couple more packages, like, but I like the little clips. Anyway, I think that's it for the minute. As you can hear, my neighbors either have their radio up really loud or they're having a very loud conversation in Spanish, which I don't speak, so I have no idea what they're saying, but it's very loud if you can hear it. I have the door open right now, but even with the door closed, you can hear them. It's very loud. Anyway, I should also say the sourdough starter is proofing. There it is right there. I fed it, so it's doing its thing. We are, yes, puppy sitting for a couple hours while Becca and Polly are at Ikea, and yeah, it's all good. It's a good Sunday. I don't think we really have to go anywhere, and we can just chill at home, and I'm okay with that. All right, that's it for the moment. I'll be back. guys, it's 5.16 p.m. on Monday, August 10th, and I don't think I've checked in yet today. Um, I've just <laughs> been busy um, catching up on paperwork and doing today's writing and laundry and dishes. and So I got quite a few things crossed off of my weekly to-do list, which I also got created. Anyway, I also covered our coffin box and lid in some... I had some brown, like natural colored tissue paper and um, decoupage, Americana's decoupage in matte finish. Um, I do think my husband had a great idea, although it's definitely going to look more like a box and less like a coffin um, because of the lid. I do think we have some hardware. I may stick on the side some handles. Let's see. Oops. So if you don't know, you know when I'm going to Hobby Lobby or something and they have some of these things in the clearance department, I tend to pick them up. I do think these were picked up on a trip, an art trip um, back east at the Hobby Lobby there. Um, or it could have been the one in Las Vegas. I actually don't remember now, but... Um, I know they were picked up at Hobby Lobby clearance and I do have four of them. So I am thinking about putting two on each side. I do have some, I think these are like Tim Holtz little feet. 
I don't know if I want to put those on the bottom or not. We'll see. But I pulled out some of my hardware stash. But I covered the box and lid with tissue um, to strengthen all the seams and the joints and to give the entire box um, a texture other than cardboard tape texture um, so that when we paint it, you won't really notice the tape and the texture of the cardboard. You're going to see more uh, of the tissue. And I purposefully wrinkled it. And um, if it got more wrinkles in it while I was working with it, I was okay with that. So it is drying right now. And then we'll get to painting. So that's kind of the priority right now because it takes up a lot of the desk. So slow stitching is back there. I've got... I have two mission inspirations to do because... I miss July. Yeah, so I'll be working on those hopefully this week. And I have to catch up my fabric coloring experiment book because I have some more pieces that are dry. I need to cut off samples and put them in my book. I might actually put them in the book now and then take the book downstairs and work on the, um, writing my notes about the particular dye and what did or didn't happen um, and all of that later tonight. Maybe. Maybe? Morning. Yeah. It's Tuesday morning. I think it's August 11th. Pretty sure. Um, I got I got a, other people have been driving my car again. So fun fact since this whole crazy world apocalypse thing started. I don't really drive that much anymore. Maybe, maybe once a week if there's Etsy orders that need to be like taken to the post office that don't fit in my mailbox here at the house. Um, I don't even drive to the grocery store. Bob does. Like, I don't know. What's like the one thing that you used to do frequently, if not every day, that you just suddenly are not doing anymore, besides going to work, because, you know, nobody's doing that. Okay, Etsy order dropped off, and to my su delightful, delighted surprise, um, my first piece of happy mail to the new P.O. Box came, and it's from Nell Sorensen, and in Nevada, and Nell evidently saw one of my videos where I was talking about my new favorite DMC color that I have trouble finding, even when I do get brave and venture out to the stores. Uh, 535, which is this dark gray. She sent me a whole bunch of it. And she says, now the stores in her area are all out. <laughs> uh, now, thank you so much. She also sent me an ATC card, which is so cool. And of course, it has a yo-yo on it. I love it. No, thank you so much. And a really great note. So I am going to take a picture of all of that later when I get home. And my car is just, there's little pieces of stuff all over the carpet. Anyway, I'm going to take pictures of it when I get home and I'll share it on social media later. But now, thank you so much. I appreciate it. it. I was so delighted. I always go check the box, but there's often nothing there. Um, it really is just for happy mail, which I don't get a lot of anymore, um, or f so that the people in the Etsy shop don't have my home address, to be honest. So when I do get happy mail, I'm just very delighted, and I'm, I've already done this once, but I'm doing it again. Um, so anyway, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'm just, you caught me completely off guard. Wasn't expecting that this morning, but it's a good thing. All right, so that's it for the moment. I'm going to go run the rest of my errands and I'll be back.
Yes, we're shooting video in my upstairs bathroom. <laughs> um, the guest slash art room bathroom. <laughs> anyway, um, at the beginning of this whole apocalypse thing, um, a friend of mine and I both noticed that Golden had, and, and I don't know if they've had it for a while, we just now noticed it, I don't know, something called crash paint solids and it comes in a kit with a bucket and some chemicals and things and the idea behind it is that it's a two-step chemical process i'll link a video about it down in the description below but it's a two-step chemical process for your paint water and what it does is it separates the paint solids from the water and the water then is safely easily disposable down your regular drain and the solids stay in this piece of paper and then you can just um, wrap it up and throw them away. Um, and so I am trying it right now. I have more paint water than will fit in there, but um, it seems to be working. I don't know if you can see, look how clear the water is. And you can see better in here, particles and it's made this sort of solid waste material out of it and then the water is over here. The water is probably a little bit more milky than it should be in here but as it's going through this, the fabric strainer it actually is pretty clear. Water looks like it's coming out. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna let what's in here drain a little bit and then dump the rest of the water in there. But yeah, very I don't know exactly what the chemicals are but they seem to work really well and um, I was curious about that, as was Mich my friend Michelle. So, um, oh, and I've got paint on my shirt. Oh, that's just lovely. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, so now we know it works, and it works really well, and so, yeah, that's all good. All right, I'm going to let this drain in onto the next, and I guess that means getting paint out of my shirt, and I'll be back. Oh, I was going to say, what is that? This is sprinkler. This is sprinkler. Anyway, hey guys, it's a, a beautiful afternoon. It's about 78 degrees or so. 78. Yeah, we're uh, going walking before dinner, but just because the weather is so nice and uh, get some steps in. It's been a good day so far, I think. And uh, yeah, we'll see what we can see and hopefully it's not too people -y and all that stuff. All right, I'll be back.
right, so we're back in the art bathroom again. Um, I wanted to show you this before I dump this first bucket of paint water. Um, I'm going to turn the camera the two on. buckets is still dripping and this is you're not supposed to dump the filter part and or the water until this is completely dry um and it's not dry and you can see some drips down there but look how clear the water is um yeah and when i've done this in the past if you watched any of my videos about dumping um how i deal with the paint water in the past it was never that clear this one's completely dry and this is all the paint and look at that so that water is clear it can be dumped down the sewer if you've watched my past videos you know that i do a coffee filter um, strainer evaporation thing before this but even with filtering the water through a coffee filter over a big bucket um, the water was still fairly murky, and so when I saw this product, I thought, huh, that might get more of the paint solids out of the water than I was getting. I was getting a bit. Um, I don't have an option of, you know, a corner of the backyard to dump it. My backyard's not that big. Um, so my only option was to let it evaporate or dump the murky water down the toilet. Evaporation takes a really long time, and I tried hard not to dump it down the toilet because things were just really murky. Um, but this way, the water is safe to dump. This part just goes in the trash, and we're good to go. Now the bigger bucket needs to sit and dry, the filter needs to dry out completely, and the rest of the water needs to disappear out of there, but holy cow, that's a lot more uh, paint solids out, out of the water that I was previously getting with anything else that I tried. I even tried the kitty litter thing where you have a bucket of kitty litter and you pour the water in there. Um, the water evaporates, the paint solids stay in the litter, kitty litter, and then you just dump the kitty litter. None of them are great. I can't lift the kitty litter bucket after that. It's too heavy. So <laughs> this I think is going to work great. So anyway, I'm very pleased. So question, does anybody follow my Project Pan art supply style videos? Have you noticed in the last two months at least that they've become more of a project purge rather than use, use it up or even try it? I'm just getting rid of things. Yeah, I noticed. And it's not just in the art room. I have a load of handbags in the back of my car right now. We, by the way, a lot of the things that don't serve me may serve you. That's why I put them in purge boxes and I put them over in the Etsy shop. I do put a, a bit of a description um, of what's in the box in the description in the listing. So check it out. The links are below. And yeah, there seems to be a couple boxes every couple weeks that I add to the list. They sell pretty quickly. So um, yeah, anyway. All right, that's it for the moment. Okay, I'll be guys, back. so our coffin box is definitely done in drying. I've got all of the, whoop, here we are, all of the handles on and the lid decorations are on. It's been waxed with Dorland's wax, which is an art wax. So anyway, I coated the box with that. I got the decorations on there. They're E6000 on and they're dry, but take 24 hours to cure completely. I got a piece of muslin cut for the, shroud that's going to wrap everything and, and line the box and keep the dolls from touching the painted waxy surface. I did use Dorland's to protect whatever does touch it, but at the same time we're going to take an extra protection and, and just drape a piece of muslin in the box. I'm not going to sew it in or I'm not going to even hem it or anything. And then we can fill the box with the zombies. I'm going to put the book that inspired the zombie doll project in there. I will be looking out for a newspaper headline front page, or maybe if Time Magazine comes out with um, an article, maybe at, towards the end of the year, uh, summarizing the whole pandemic situation, uh, putting something like that in the box too with the zombies, um, for, just for historical fact. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna, I'm planning on making more zombie dolls, but I need to, I needed, really needed to get the box done so I have some place to put said zombie dolls. So anyway, it's all done. It's drying. Tomorrow we can 
put it all together and switch to something else because that's done now and I can go back to slow stitching and maybe make some zombie dolls. Um, I also took some time today and I took, I was experimenting with the idea of taking some of my own digital downloads and actually some of my friend Mike Deacon's digital downloads um, and turning them into stickers. So if you have a silhouette or a similar uh, um, cutting machine system, there's probably a way you can do this. You can print it on sticker paper and then cut it with your machine. Um, I don't know if Mike still has this one on his um, website or not, but this is one of his digital downloads. I think it's called Wisdom. And it comes with the owl and some quotes, and then it comes with some vintage papers. Of course, you don't necessarily have to print them this small, but I wanted them to be stickers I could use in my in my daily journal, so that's his. And then I have some like uh, watercolor spots, digital downloads. There's actually four different ones that I printed and made into stickers. Again, all for using in my daily journals. which I'm having a lot more fun making my own stickers than using the store-bought ones that I have, to be honest with you. I also have one I printed a whole bunch of and made stickers out of, of my son prints, printed digital downloads. So these are digital downloads that are in my Etsy shop. So I'll try to remember to link them below. And if I can find Mike's wisdom one, I will link that too. And just so you know, the, these decorations on top of the box, I don't know if he still has them or not, or if he doesn't, if he's going to be getting them. These are some of his laser cut wood. Mike Deacon. Yeah. <laughs> they look great on top of the box. <laughs> All right, that's it for the moment. Good morning. It's Thursday morning. I think it's August 13th, maybe. It's about 10, 19 a.m. About, it's 10, 19 a.m. So the car clock says. <laughs> um, I got an Etsy order in first thing this morning and forgot to change the mailing date on the mail on the mail on the label when I was printing it so that means it has to go out today there's a big spike why we like living here. So cool. And those bushes back there, by the way, those, those back there, that's where some of the wild, oh, sorry. I did that uh, by also accident. On right side here, they like to be those are all blackberries. Yeah they, like to hide them. yeah, they like to hide there and they like to eat them. I like to pick them when I can get to them before the deer because they make good fabric dye. So yeah. Mom's wandering off and she's like looking for her baby going, we get over here? Good morning, people. It's 10, 21 a.m. Friday, August 14th. 14th. I think. Could be. We are headed out to do our weekly errands. <laughs> I want to say a day late and a dollar short. <laughs> Short. We're not a dollar short though, but we usually do them Thursday night, as you all know if you've been watching the blog since the pandemic apocalypse thing started. Um, 
but Bob has today off and so we're gonna go do them this morning. Okay guys, I haven't done any art journaling in a journal in quite a while, weeks if not longer, but today I did. Um, and I should say um, traditional mixed media art journaling. I have done some watercolors, as you know, if you watch the 30 and 30, and I have done um, quite a few of Mike Deacon's mission inspiration prompts as watercolors this year. Technically, they're probably not mixed media, maybe a couple of them if I used pencil, but they're not really mixed media sort of art journaling in my mind, um, except for today. So I did this one, let's see. Oh, well. I did this one and it's propped up funny because it's drying. I used up some of the leftover paint to mark up these pages for a future art journal page. Um, this was the prompt, which I always glue in onto the page. I already had all of these dark black and blue colors on the background. And I had some inspiration photo from my niece's wedding. Um, she and her wife, Tiffany, got married three years ago now, maybe longer. Um, anyway, their wedding was in an aquarium. I took a bunch of photos and I used one of them as inspiration for this sort of anemone shape suggestions in the background. I used one of my stencils for the turtle and then to make him stand out a little more, I outlined him with a black paint pen. And then I used one of my rubber stamp sets, which is sea themed for the um, octopus legs. And then a quote from one of my uh, word sets, my word digital downloads. I think it turned out really cute. I really wasn't sure where it was going when I was in the middle of it, and I thought, oh, that's really ugly. But I actually kind of like the way it, where it went to. So I have this. This was July, which I never did, which I, yeah, anyway. Sorry, Mike. I'm going to be posting it to Mission Inspiration tonight sometime. I still have August to do, which is travel and transport. So no idea what I'm going to do with that one, but... Watch me on social media to find out. And if you want to get any of my rubber stamp or stencil sets, these in particular, I will link my Etsy shop down below and you can look around. There's all kinds of stuff over there. I have over a hundred different stencil designs and I don't even know how many rubber stamp designs I've lost, lost count at this point. So anyway, there you have it. My Friday afternoon. How's yours been? All right, I'll be back. Good morning. It's Saturday morning. August 15th, I think. It's 10, oh, it's 10 something, I don't know, let's see. 10.42 a.m., yes, it's the 15th of August. Um, but I do think we're gonna go maybe for a drive, maybe run a couple of errands, maybe. Of course, safely, we'll bring masks and all the things. Um, I'm gonna turn on the air conditioner before we do leave so the house isn't blasting hot when we get back. Husband is downstairs getting dressed. And yeah, I think we're gonna just kind of relax this weekend. I think do think we're gonna grill some chicken later. And by we, I'm squinting at the air conditioner, sorry. And by we, I mean Bob, not me. Okay I guys, know. so I was right earlier. We are gonna go for a drive and get out of the house a bit. And sorry, I have a cough drop in my mouth because allergies. Um, we're going to drive towards downtown Portland. Before any of y'all yell at me. <laughs> and uh, we're going to, of course, be safe. Stay in the car. Stay in the car. We're not getting out of the car. We're not walking around. And of course, if things look too sketchy and crazy, we're not going to go any farther. We'll turn around. But we will take you with us. We will show you a real unedited not lied about view of downtown as far as we do venture and um, we'll see what happens all right we'll be back
was a drive through part of downtown and near the mall where we usually like to go shopping. It did look like the doors were open for business, but we're not stopping to get out of the car. Um, I don't know where the federal building is, neither of us do, but there's a lot of boarded up windows and graffiti, a lot more homeless on the street than normal. Um, it was nice to see some people picking up trash and that sort of thing. And as an artist and a painter, I admire some of the artwork that's been put on some of the windows and walls. That being said, it has been done um, in, um, you know, not the right way. It's part of the violence and the rioting and graffiti and destruction of personal property, which I'm not okay with. That being said, some of the artwork is beautifully done. So I do admire that part anyway. We're headed we back towards the river part of Portland. We did not film um, an interesting situation. <laughs> People walking in the middle of the road, throwing things at trees, and somebody who was mostly naked. Um, yeah, I don't know. Here's a big Stopping to get ice cream at Salt and Straw, because that's what you do when you haven't even had lunch yet, right? Yeah, I think so. Evidently, according to the thing we're supposed to walk, so anyway, I'll be back. saw this clip you saw a clip of me packing yet a couple more purge boxes most of these boxes are filled with journals um, junk journals journals with blank pages things I've either made or been gifted that I've just never gotten to use ever and I have so many of them I'm never going to use probably most of what I have that I've even that I've kept so the per the extra stuff I'm purging has got to go onto a home where it will get used and loved there's a couple of glitter tumblers in each box and care instructions for the tumblers. There's also at least one art bag in each box and uh, the boxes again are very full. So anyway, they're all listed in Etsy. Um, coupon codes are all active and updated. And I think that's it. I think I'm gonna turn the computer off and I did find, um, first of all, I put some drawing stuff in this bag that I want to be able to take up or downstairs with me. The little tote, this little bag I picked up at the dollar store. Um, it's going to work great for that. I got a zebra mild liner. Um, somebody recommended this to maybe at some point replace the other gray one that I've been loving. And I do believe this is double ended. So I'm going to test it out later. I'll let you know what I think. And I have a bunch of these collage matchbook pa papers. If you were part of Crazy Island Family, do you remember these? Um, I still have most of them. So I'm gonna take this one downstairs. I just grabbed one at random. I did keep all of them and I'm going to use some of the papers in here um, for the daily drawing journal that I've been using. I also found this book that I had spiral bound a long time ago. I'm a big fan of Danny Gregory and I'm gonna do try to do one of the pages in here um, a day um, to fill to fill this up and work through this book. So we'll see what happens, or at least one a week. I don't know, we'll see what happens. I'll be carrying that around with me. And a lot of the journals, by the way, um, were, as I said, either made by me, uh, gifted to me. Some of them are from Crazy Island Family Days, the same same days as where this is from. And I've had them that long. They just, they need to go on to a, a forever home where they're gonna get loved, so anyway. It's been an interesting day. It's blasting hot outside. 
Um, although it is hot, the husband's gonna barbecue some chicken and I think grill some asparagus for dinner. I have some avocado downstairs. I think I might cut one of those up. It sounds really good to me. Yeah. So it's gonna be a interesting weekend and one in which we probably don't do a lot because it's too hot outside. So anyway. All right, that's it for now. I hope you all are having a good time, that you're keeping busy and you're de-stressing however you need to. Times are stressful right now for everybody around the world and I wish you all the best. And if we can help each other find ways to de-stress and stay occupied and not dwell, I would love to start that conversation over in one of my art groups on Facebook either my personal art group, A Life of Art and Self-Expression, or the one that I run with a group of other artists, My Creative Year. I would love to have that conversation. You have my permission to start it in either group. Tag me in the post if you want to make sure I see it. And let's let's do that and let's give, give each other some ideas. For me, of course, it's art and reading and books and watching interesting YouTube. Um, so yeah, I have an endless list of possibilities of things to do. <laughs> so anyway, that's it for now. Don't forget to stay safe, stay creative, and stay healthy. That's not how I should say that. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative. There you go. Um, also like, share, and subscribe. Support the free content here on Facebook and over in the, um, here on Facebook, here on YouTube, or over in the Facebook art groups um, by shopping in my Etsy store or using my PayPal tip jar joining Patreon, um, something. And not just for me, all of your favorite creatives out there on YouTube and Facebook, most of them have a way to support them. And they all I know would appreciate your support. So however they garner support, do that, um, whether it's shopping in their online store or Patreon or something, we'd all love that. Um, and um, yeah, if you can't find a way, ask, because they pro maybe they're just not advertising it for some reason. Anyway, that's it for this week. Don't forget to go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.